Hi everybody, I'm back and uh, you know as I was saying about it's good to love and laugh and just be able to be relaxed in God. You know, Jesus wants us to be on our guard and he always wants us to be on our guard you know, protecting our hearts and protecting our soul and protecting us and making sure that, as I said before, that the only person that has a key to your door is Jesus Christ and that you're always checking your doors to make sure that they are locked safe and the only person to get in is Jesus Christ and in your soul and in your body that all your rooms are filled with the Holy Spirit, filled with Jesus Christ, filled with the blood of Jesus Christ, there's no room for him to get in. But if we go to Timothy 4, um, 1 Timothy 4 verses 8, um, for physical training is some value for godlessness, has a value for all things holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. And also in verses 4, it, it goes on, 1 Timothy, verses four verses, uh, 1 Timothy 4 verses 4, for everything God created is good, and nothing is to, re is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving. For everything that is, re that is created is good and nothing is to be rejected. Isn't that a fantastic news that in 1 Timothy 4 verses 4 that everything that is good is nothing is to be rejected. Nothing is to be rejected that it is in God. So... If two people are supposed to get together because they're both looking for a soulmate, they are both looking for something. They are both of good because they are both born again. They are both baptised in the Holy Spirit. So why should it be rejected? It's only rejected because one of the parties let fear and doubt come into their life. Yes, it's the most scariest thing to think about. It's the second most scariest thing. It's the second most challenge. The first challenge is to say, well, Lord Jesus, I want you in my heart. I sacrifice you to allow the Holy Spirit to do God's work in you. But the thing is, the next scariest thing is to say, if you are not already married and if you're single, and that you're looking for a soulmate and a partner, then, the, then you are not to let doubt or fear come into your life. Because as it says in 1 Timothy 4 verses 4, for everything God created is good and nothing is to be rejected. If, if it is received with thanksgiving, if it's received with thanksgiving, if it's received with thanksgiving, nothing should be rejected. Anything that is of good and is of God should not be rejected and should be received with thanksgiving. Because it's consecrated by the word of God and by prayer. If you point these things out to brothers, you will be good minister for Christ brought up in the truth of faith and that of good teaching that you have followed. Have nothing to do with godlessness, myths or old wife tales. Rather, train yourself to be godly. You know, it's just said there. It's said there exactly. Have nothing to do in verse 7 of 1 Timothy 4. Have nothing to do with godlessness, myths or old wife tales. Rather, train yourself to be godly. How do we train ourselves to be godless? How do we train? And in, in, in Ecclesiastes 3 it says it's important that we must make sure that we're walking in the will of God. So how do we train ourselves to be godly? Read our Bibles. Do the right thing by your wife. Do the right thing by your family. Take care of your family. Make sure your family is a family unit. Look after your family. You know, God doesn't say in the Bible where it states that you have to give the riches and the world to your family. But what God's stating is that you can be a family that is walking in God and being like Christ-like. You know, God doesn't want the family to, to be divided up and to be division where they say you've got a mother and a father and you've got a son and a daughter. They've got two children and you've got a son and a daughter and the son's rebellious. You know, the daughter is walking in Christ like the, the father... The father's walking in Christ like, the mother's walking in Christ like, but the, the son is not. Then that does create a problem in the family, and that creates big issues. But what God says is, is that you, in verse 7, it says, have nothing to do with the godlessness myths or the old wise tales, rather train yourself to be godly. If you're training yourself to be godly, and you're dismissing the old wise tales, and you're training yourself to be godly. 
and you're having nothing to do with the godless myths or, or old wise tales or, or things of this world and you're training yourself to be godly. We are training. Once you surrender your life to Jesus and you are born again in, in the baptized in the Holy Spirit, you are training yourself every day to be godly. You're in God's army. You know, it's just like if you go to the army in Australia or the army in Greece or whatever, you are trained to be a soldier. And in a sense, you are being a soldier in God's army. And in God's army, you are bringing a harvest to God. You're bringing souls to God. You're bringing more people to God by saving their soul because they accept Jesus Christ into their heart. That's another sermon in itself. That's testifying and, and, and bringing your testimony to other people. It's not about being religious. Nothing to do with about being religious. I'll leave it there and I'm going to stop it there. It's nothing to do with the religious.